Kom. Kom. Colton, wake up. Time to do fingerprint photographs and get you out of here. Colton. Come on, wake up. Time to do paperwork and get you out of here. Bring that blanket over here. Throw it in that bin. The red one in the corner there. Uh, that was coming. All right, stand with your back against this blue pad. Yes, sir. And stare straight at the camera. Yes, sir. And turn your head this way. Just your head, not your body. Oh, just that. Yep, just your head. All right, come on over here. Here's the reader screen for your fingerprints. You're gonna follow the little picture guide right there. So start with all four fingers on your right hand flat. Just press them down and leave them until you hear a beep. All right. Left or excuse me, right thumb. Press it and leave it till you hear the beep. Press a little harder. There you go. All right. Now you're gonna roll them. When you roll it, go one edge to the other and lift up. Go ahead and start with the right thumb. Try to start. Try to get it a little more in the middle. Oh, the yep, going to try and have it centered. Okay, for sure. Yes, sir. Uh, roll it back the other way. Let me roll it back the other way. Yeah. So it's, oh, do, do, do like a side to side. Uh, yeah, give it a try. Sometimes that helps. Okay. Okay. And lift it up. Lift up. Yep. Lift. Okay. All right, cool, that did it. So right index, just like you did the thumb. Let's go ahead and start. So roll back to the other just side. Lift. No, just lift right now. Okay. Um, shift a little, don't go quite so far. Try to see how it's got a little gray mark right there. That's the center of the screen. So try to get, roll it so it's centered right there, okay? Okay, okay. Down, see the arrow up there, so down a little more. Yeah, I know, way too up. Like, yeah. I went to the middle right here, but it was Tell way what, too up. Relax your hands, let me give it a try. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. Yep, there we go. Let's do it this way. Yeah, no, thank you. All right, left hand, all four fingers, press them and leave them just like before. All right, left thumb, press it and leave it, just like before. And now roll the left thumb. Or actually, you know what, let me just do it for you there. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. You know the machine. Can redo that one. <laughs> no, like, like I said, <laughs> the machine knows the machine. <laughs> Got it. Sweet. All right, have a seat over there. Yeah. Oh my God. You know what you did to your finger there? Oh, it's older if it's like that flesh that has been torn off your finger for a while. Looks like a yeah. looks like a blister or something. Did you burn your finger? That's what I'm saying. Like I, I had a blister two days ago. Oh, okay. I think, I think her uh, ex-boyfriend like, oh. popped it open. All right. Yeah. Um, you need a couple things for you to sign. First one, your fingerprint card. Sign by on that line right there, please. On the fingerprint. Yep. Okay. All right. 
Next thing I have for you is a criminal citation charging you with minor in a public place exhibiting the signs of having consumed liquor. If you look at it, got all your information up at the top, date, time, and location where I arrested you. The RCW 6644272B, minor in a public place exhibiting the signs of having consumed liquor. Um, this is a mandatory court appearance. What's going to happen in this case is the court will send you a summons to your address up here telling you when you need to go to court. If you do not hear from the court within 15 days, you need to contact them yourself. Say you are arrested and expecting a summons. and Hopefully they'll get it straightened out. Uh, if you miss a court date, they're just going to issue a warrant for your arrest. So it is your responsibility to contact them if you don't hear from them, okay? So, and if you read this whole bottom thing, it explains mandatory appearance offenses. So this is your copy. Next thing, this is your property. Just need you to sign, make sure everything's there. It was on it earlier, and you can start taking your stuff back, and you'll be out of here, okay? Okay, no, definitely. So I would expect to see a... Um like something in the mail. Yeah, them. they'll send you, it's, it's called a summons, it's like a subpoena basically, yeah, similar yeah. to that. Um, they'll just mail it to you, okay? So I expect like to see that in the mail. Uh, should be within like 15 days. days. Yeah, should be within 15 days. Um, that's If you don't hear from them within 15 days, here's contact information for the court. There's the address and the phone number, okay? Okay, okay. So, so I expect like to see something from them in the mail. Yes. Okay. Yep. And then my property, uh, can I look at my property? Yep, go right ahead. I'm sorry. I'm extremely cold, so I'm yeah. sorry for like shivering. But like, sorry. Right. I'm from Texas, so mm -hmm. I'm just cold all the time. Uh, yeah, I think when you threw one of your bracelets, ended up in the shoes there, so don't step on it. Oh, really? Oh, wonderful. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, because that would have been a problem. No, yeah. for sure. Oh, I watched the hockey game. I think your little jewel was in there too. Oh, was there like a. Yeah. Uh, was there like a. Uh, yep, there it is. The jewel? Oh, no, I was not worried oh, okay. about that at all. I was just worried about my phone wallet and keys. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, no, I'm so sorry. I'm super cold right now. That old blanket y'all gave me was so amazing. Old military style. Okay, you can gather all your stuff up and you're free to go. So, Thank you so much. Ben's got to stay here, but you can put everything else back. <laughs> oh, I can't have the bin? No. <laughs> Go <laughs> government property. <laughs> no worries. I just want to get this. Oh, See, that's the one thing that's the difference between Texas and Washington is... Uh, is that Texas had bipolar weather, but it was either hot or hot or hot in the rainy weather. Hmm. Like yesterday it was like 62. It was like 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. Now it's just like, I'm so cold. Yeah, it flips the spring and fall around here. It flips a lot. Yeah, especially, um, Uh, as part of the inventory, I took all your cards out of the spots just to count them to make sure everything ended up back with you. Okay, yeah, but I was gonna say like, uh, like spring and winter, it seems like it jumps. Um, are they still here? Or they should they... be in the main, the cash part of it. Oh, the I cash just part. Of it. Yeah, I oh, didn't. Okay. I had no oh, idea how you had them organized, so I just put them back in there just so it'd be easier to find. Okay, thank you. Because like honestly, yeah, <laughs> like seeing you like wait, there was like. Seven cards. Uh, there was five of them when I counted it out. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, for sure. That was just, yeah, yeah not terribly. Not terribly. You don't mind if I like, just put it back in there? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. I have receipts, and it's just like, yeah, I'm not trying to deal with
That's kind of funny how you know what the jewel is, though. Like, he's mm -hmm. got... He's on the string. Oh, it says jewel on it. Does it really? Yeah, it's like down at the bottom. Oh, yeah, true. Never mind. <laughs> I thought you already uh, had to run with that. Oh, can I put my shoes on yep, here? Yep, go ahead. Oh, okay. I've never been through this experience before, so I have to help you lay it on here. JRDC that I took in well, high school. That's why I put the belt on the left side. Most men put the belt through the right side. Did you know that it's the wrong side? Hmm? For men. So most men put the belt through the right side. Starts to go to the left. Yeah, that's actually the correct side for the mm -hmm. men. Yep. I learned that JRDC. I was at JRDC for four years. Is that that? I don't think that's even. The, what branch? Maybe. It's uh, Army. All right. Really? I didn't think that was in the six. I was in the army, and I don't remember ever having that come up for the belt. There's oh. an, yep. There's a part where you're supposed to line it up with your class A. It's supposed to be lined up with what they call the gig the line, which line, is yeah. yeah but yeah, for the as button. far as the direction it goes in, I don't remember that in the 670-1. So. Oh really? 670-1? Yeah. yeah. No, that's because the, we had a we had a no 670-1 was the definition of the army regulation. Mm -hmm. Code. That's the definitely the army regulation code that uh, was like for like the like for the branch, but we had a yeah, uniforms and appearance. We had a C CWC regulation because that's oh, we, specifically for your school then. Yeah, specifically okay. for my school. Yeah. Like maybe that's why. Don't like, forget your citation. Oh, perfect. Thank you. But I was just like, that's kind of funny because like my uh, this is my friend's bill, mm -hmm. and like yeah, he would always put it to the right, and I kind of put the okay, perfect. It's empty. Yeah, no, I'm making sure I left that thing. Yep. But I thought that was kind of funny because he always puts it to the right, and I was like. Hmm. Right. Yeah, I always go left just because I'm right-handed. It seems just push. It should be open. Oh, push. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, thank you. You're welcome.